Let's talk about those cryptocurrencies. From this side of the world, we have seen a big climb down in terms of those prices, in part as a result of, you know, your currency fluctuations. But we've also seen the noise around the cryptocurrencies coming, for instance, after that pronouncement uh, by uh, the global bank for banks, uh, the Bank of International Settlements. Where do we go from here in terms of cryptocurrencies, do you think? Are they likely to disappear like, like some people have been wishing for for quite a while? Uh, disappearing? No, certainly not. <laughs> but I think one factor which needs to be addressed is the security. Um, because remember, Bitcoin is equal to trust. And it is also equal to which is not can be had. I think what is very, very important that we need to address two major issues. Number one is the security. Nearly 70 million worth of US dollars equivalent in the uh, cryptocurrency has been stolen from two exchanges here in South Korea. This is insane. Regulators need to make sure that these crypto exchanges are, are providing the highest security to protect consumers. And if they are not, then making sure that these exchanges are no longer in oppression. So if uh, then there are opportunities for regulators and for other companies to come and work in the same space. For example, Bug Lab, a crowdsourcing cybersecurity company that connects cybersecurity researchers with companies around a, uh, uh, around a contest is dictating a $2 million to help cryptocurrency exchanges to accept and detect and fix their vulnerabilities or completely free at no cost. So these companies are coming and then they are saying that, look, we're going to give you two million and then we will find where other defaults in exchanges and we will fix them. The second issue is the regulation, right? So if in my white paper or if in my ICO, I am saying we are going to raise more than 40 million or 10 million or 1 million, for instance, and then I have a breakdown how I'm going to invest that, the companies like X Weber, they are doing a great job because they're going to make sure that how you are saying in your uh, white paper, that is how you are investing by putting that everything, that bookkeeping on a, on a blockchain. And I think these are the key areas where regulators would be very happy to work with, the, with these two companies or the comp or companies providing similar services to come and reinforce the basics of it in order to help and protect consumers. Yeah, but that's a little contradiction, isn't it? Because these currencies have been able to exist despite uh, attempts by regulators to dismiss them, at least some of the regulators that we have seen. And yet now we are seeing that perhaps they may well need to be properly regulated for them to survive. I mean, I've got to say, looking at that statement from the uh, BIS, where it talked about Bitcoin as uh, worthless, you've got to question the future of uh, Bitcoin and other, others of these uh, currencies and also their ability to be able to create the trust that you are talking about. Yeah, I mean, talking about bankers, I'm going to quote uh, Tim Draper here. And I was at a conference in San Francisco uh, this week. Uh, so, you know, he was saying that you can almost hear the panic in voice because they are they know they have tried every single element to stop Bitcoin to be accepted as a currency. but in all if you look at the very definition of the currency one is unit of future unit of exchange store of value so Bitcoin is taking all these aspects of it so whether the regulators or bank bankers are going to accept Bitcoin as a form of an exchange or as a form of a currency, that remains still a question. But one thing is for sure, people are adopting it. The community is huge. The only thing which is impacting the credibility for Bitcoin is tax at these exchanges. And this is insane. And hence companies like Bug Lab, you know, crowdsourcing cybersecurity company are coming in and filling that space, finding those bugs at those exchanges and trying to help them. Absolutely. It's going to be fascinating. Watch what happens. Thanks very much, Naeem. Uh, Naeem is a chief market analyst at Think Markets UK. Thank you for crossing to us uh, uh, today.